Congratulations on the purchase of your new Fritsch Pulveraset 19 Universal Cutting Mill. You are about to experience precision milling at its best. This video will demonstrate the proper procedures to unbox and assemble your P19 mill. Start by removing the banding straps and any shrink wrap from the wood crate. Set aside the 15-gallon collection kettle and cyclone vacuum source. Remove the screws from around the top of the crate and remove the lid. Then take out all materials from inside the wood crate except the P19 mill itself. Using a screwdriver or pliers, remove all staples. Remove all remaining screws around the bottom of the wood crate. Lift off the side walls. Using a ratchet and 13 mm socket, remove the four bolts from the bottom of the wood pallet that are holding the P19 mill in place. Assemble the stand for the P19 mill. First, remove the four aluminum legs and top plate of the stand. Then, loosen the screws on the mounting brackets and one at a time, slide each leg down over the mounting bracket and re-tighten the screws. Remove the screws from the top of the aluminum legs. Place the top plate of the P19 stand on top of the legs and fasten with the screws. The top plate should be mounted with the U-shape facing front to align with the U-shape in the stand itself. With two to four people, lift the mill from the pallet base up onto the stand. At least one person should hold the mill at all times while it is being fastened to the stand. The P19 mill is heavy, weighing over 120 pounds. Please do not attempt to lift the mill on your own. Align the holes in the bottom of the P19 mill with the holes on the top plate of the stand. Again, at least one person should hold the mill at all times while it is being fastened to the stand by a second person. Insert the cyclone adapter into the outlet slot of the P19 mill. Please note that as a safety feature, the P19 mill will not operate unless the cyclone adapter is fully inserted and the main door is fully closed and latched. Remove the protective plastic film from the housing of the mill. Remove the 15-gallon stainless collection vessel. Connect the stainless cyclone separator to the top of the collection vessel using the 2-inch sanitary fitting provided. The plastic hose provided with the cyclone can be cut in half prior to use to facilitate the cleaning process. The soft rubber hose adapter should be installed over the outlet from the P19 mill itself. 
The hard, rigid hose adapter should be installed onto the side inlet of the cyclone. The tubing from the shop vacuum should be connected to the top inlet of the cyclone. Remove the funnel and plunger and all of the sieve cassettes from the shipping box. In the United States and Canada, plug the P19 mill into a standard 110-120 volt 15 amp circuit. Please note that the front door of the mill will not open unless the unit is powered on. Now you are ready to put your P19 mill to work. Please see our other instructional videos regarding operation and cleaning procedures.